When it's summer in California, people flock to the beaches. They come to surf, to swim, or to just spend the day lying around soaking up the sun. It's a great place to come and bring your girl, or to uh, <laughs> come and look for one. A lot of people like to put up an umbrella, sit back, and just enjoy the casual atmosphere. But, on some of the California beaches, from Santa Cruz to San Diego, thousands of people gather every weekend to watch a select group of athletes play in grueling sand volleyball tournaments. The sight of a human ring of bodies surrounding a single court is familiar to the fans of beach volleyball. If you watch closely, it's easy to see why they're so caught up with the game. Millions of people around the country play and enjoy indoor volleyball. The basics of the game in the sand are the same. You must be able to serve in whatever style you choose. Sometimes a little dive comes in handy to keep the ball in play. And of course it helps to be able to jump just a little bit too. and to remain fearless when your opponent tries to embed the ball in your forehead. To the inexperienced observer of the game, beach volleyball may seem fast and unorganized. However, as we watch two of the best sand players, Toshi Toyota and Buzz Swartz, in slow motion, we can see the game revolves around three simple moves. The pass, or the bump, The two-hand set, and probably the most dramatic of the three moves, the spike. Now, you don't have to be as good as Toshi or Buzz to enjoy the game, or even as old. It helps if you're at least as big as the ball, but sometimes even that isn't necessary. If your bursitis isn't too bad, even the Geritol set can enjoy a leisurely game on a sunny day. While sleek suntan bodies seem to be common on the court, Sometimes an old pro, regardless of the shape he's in, can teach the kids a lesson. Here we see a good example. Formerly an all-world indoor volleyball player, the guy in the white is known as Mr. Volleyball in the United States, and his partner is a veteran of over 15 years of beach play. Both are highly skilled in every aspect of the game. Come 
Most volleyball fans will be more familiar with the game as it is being played by these young ladies. Six man, or six women volleyball, becomes even more exciting and challenging when played on the beach. These women are warming up for the Manhattan Beach six man tournament. They obviously take the game just as seriously as the men and often have fiercely fought competition between teams. You can tell when it's time for an important match by watching the crowd. They run to find a good seat before the game gets started. In sand volleyball, we mentioned the ability to jump is very important. Well, there is a substitute for this talent. You can still be an awesome hitter if you happen to be seven feet tall, like a certain person you might be more familiar with on a basketball court. Six-man volleyball in the sand is basically the same game as is played indoors. Blocking and varied sets are important parts of the game. Back sets are usually not allowed in two-man competition, but they're a must in six-man to keep the blockers confused. The block is also very important. Without it, there would almost always be a point for the attacking team. And when the game is over, a handshake and a cool drink seems to revive everybody's spirits. Another interesting variation of volleyball in the sand comes in the mixed tournaments. In these matches, a guy picks a girl partner, supposedly for her playing ability, and the mixed teams have at each other in games that are as fiercely fought as the men's. As we watch some of the best mixed teams play, we hear their comments. I think it's very feminine. I mean, you can make it feminine. You don't have to go out there and be a, you know, big jock. I mean, but you, you can. It's, I think it's a feminine sport. I don't think it's, you know, you're not hitting each other. It's not physical contact or anything, so you're, it's all right. Well, I, I like to play girls because I like to hit, and it is fun. <laughs> but I like to play mixed because, um, I, I like to set and I like to play the guy who um, who's good and I like to see him crunch it. <laughs> I like to play it fast. <laughs> get in, get in. Of course, there is always more than volleyball to look at on the beach. Good-looking girls are always watching the action or playing. Some in very daring outfits. Although it's nice to have the girls around, sometimes it can be pretty exasperating. It's good, it's good. Come on. Get up, get up, go, get up. Come on. Over, Kenny. Ah! All right. Three, four. When I hit the ball, I try to uh, outguess my opponents and try to hit it to a spot where they're not. And if I, if I happen to hit it at somebody, then that's, you know, the way it goes. I mean, I don't, in a game like Mixer hitting it when we were just played against Rose and Matt, uh, I have no qualms at all hitting against Rose. In fact, she dug me probably three times. So, uh, you know, there's, she's as good as defensive player as far as digging and so on as, you know, most guys. So, you know, you can't hold back. <laughs> I'm on a very strict diet right now, and if I do not play at least four games a day, I make myself run a mile and sprint the last quarter really fast, so I prefer playing volleyball. <laughs> well, it's good exercise. Um, you can work out and you don't have to go run, or it's, you know, you don't have to just go do it. You can go play. and. I don't know, there's a lot of people, I've, most of my friends, most people I know, have, you know I've, I've been playing since I was like 13, so I've grown up with it. I've always lived on the beach when it's neat, it's outside, it's a nice sport.
Sometimes the girls like to get all the men off the court and play on their own. For these women's tournaments, the nets are lowered a few inches, but otherwise the game is identical to the men's two-man competition. He's up! Rose and Nina, the same girls we saw in the mixed tournament, make an impressive team. They pass, set, and hit, as well as many men's teams. Although the men don't always give credit where credit is due. Men are getting beat. Men are, ver are so competitive about the rating system now and stuff that they want to play and work out. And they don't want to play against girls, maybe just because they don't feel afraid of getting beat by them or something. I don't understand it. As the tournaments move up and down the Southern California coast, it's easy to see a distinctive atmosphere for each different beach. The open tournament held at Sorrento Beach near Santa Monica, California, is usually called Muscle Beach, <laughs> for some reason. Strong men, acrobats, and a lot of really interesting people can be found walking the sidewalks at Muscle Beach. Volleyball fans try to keep their attention focused on the game, but at this beach, it's difficult. You, 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 you. The only people who are really focused on the game are the players. And on this windy day, they have to use extra concentration to make up for Mother Nature's interference. Stop, stop. Come on now! Yeah. You! Go, Dougie! Hit it now! Get up! In sand tournaments, most players are rated on their ability. The rankings start with B, then A, double A, and triple A is the highest. A player must win a tournament at each of these levels or place highly to advance to the next rating. The open tournaments we are watching attract primarily double A and triple A players. These are the toughest sand tournaments and players from national and US indoor teams frequently play in these competitions. Here at the Laguna Beach, California Open, Buzz and Toshi have teamed up to play in the Triple A tournament. Toshi is noted as a great indoor setter, but he also amazes spectators with a 36-inch vertical jump in the sand. At Laguna, the crowd is unpredictable. They will wear anything or do anything to get a little attention. If the crowd doesn't like a player, well, they'll let him know. The guys at Laguna are famous for being body snatchers, but the girls seem to love it. Sometimes, however, the direct approach works best. But, not <laughs> even though there's a lot of clowning around done by the spectators, when the final games get going, everybody gets interested in crowds around the court. The Open Tournament at Manhattan Beach, California is held late in August and is considered the most important match by most of the good players. This tournament drew 19 AAA teams out of about 60 teams that entered. It was the largest collection of AAA teams ever entered in a beach tournament. All tournaments take at least two days to complete and games usually get underway early in the morning before the herds of sun worshippers arrive. The highly favored teams are usually placed in different brackets so that they don't play each other until late in the first day. They must work their way through lesser teams for several games until a battle of the favored teams develops. The eventual winners must play from seven to 10 games over the course of two days and remain undefeated or lose one game at the most. A closely contested game can last as long as 30 to 40 minutes. Endurance and consistency are very important. Hey, 
Players seem relaxed and casual as they take their early morning warm-ups, but by the time a few games have gone by, the teams quickly become intense on their playing. Heat becomes a factor as the day wears on. Sometimes the sand becomes so unbearably hot that the courts must be hosed off to make it possible for play to continue. Even the spectators find they need that <laughs> extra dab of protection from the hot afternoon sun. In between games, however, a little shade and relaxation keeps the players occupied. By late afternoon, games between evenly matched teams make for some long and exciting rallies. The serve can go back and forth five or six times before a single point is scored. Blocking is considered to be a risky form of defense in two-man volleyball, but sometimes it works. And sometimes it doesn't. He's up! The soft sand makes spectacular defensive moves possible. A team that really hustles for every ball can often keep seemingly impossible shots in play. These players make the game look easy. They jump and run around the court effortlessly, but it's really not as simple as it looks. Playing volleyball in the sand is a good deal like playing basketball with ski boots on. You, 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 you! Nobody, nobody! As the first day of the tournament ends, the fans go home having seen some pretty exciting games for free and picked up a tan at the same time. Of course, not everyone comes to the beach for the same reason. This group of Hare Krishna worshippers believes the beach is as good a place for chanting as playing volleyball and actually worship their way right through the middle of the final game of the tournament. Conrad Noon, you guys ready to go on court 11? Five minutes. On the last day of action, the pressure starts to build on the players. The final few games are played in front of as many as 3,000 spectators, many of them crowded to the very edge of the court. He lost his legs there. You guys about ready? Huh? He lost it. He started falling here. He'd have had it. Good. Uh, here are Brian, Fishy, on court three. There Before a game here. starts, each player discusses strategy with his partner and sometimes other teams. Okay. Then. The warm-ups now become methodical and take up to 15 or 20 minutes before the players feel ready to make delicate sets. And powerful spikes. Even as the tension in the last game mounts, you can't always expect fans to keep their eyes on the court. A lot of things besides volleyball look pretty good in slow motion. As we watch some highlights from the final game, we let the picture speak for itself.
The rewards for being good at beach volleyball are self-satisfaction, some encouragement from your friends, and a trophy if you happen to finish in the top three places. Although there has been talk of making volleyball professional, there's not much chance it will ever take on the trappings of pro basketball or any other big money sport. But the game would undoubtedly lose some of its charm and attraction if you took away the sun, surf, and bikinis and put it indoors. The beach crowd has too much spontaneous fun to want to be cooped up inside. Where else but at the beach could a frustrated and uh, intoxicated player express himself. And in any way he sees fit. The grueling two-man competition is great to watch, but volleyball, like surfing and other beach activities, is really just plain fun. Here at San Onofre, a famous Southern California surfing beach, there aren't any tournaments or high-level competitions. It's a family beach, and everyone comes to have a good time. Campers line the road by the volleyball courts, and the entire family gets involved in all activities. Since the object is to have a good time, no one worries about who is on their team. Young and old, men and women, and even husband and wife get together for a good game. No one cares about ratings or your own unique style. The best thing about beach volleyball is that everyone can play and enjoy. And whether you're in it for competition or relaxation, as Nina said, it's just a neat sport. We are the children of tomorrow. We are the children.